In this video, we're going to be trying to light an LED with some potatoes. All the required materials are in the description below. First, we need a short length of copper wire. If you don't have wire, you can use copper nails or even copper coins. I'm going to bend this piece over so it's got good contact inside the potato. Now we'll push our copper wire inside of our potato. Make sure you push it nice and deep so there's lots of surface area coverage inside. Now do the same thing with the galvanized screw or nail. Now we're going to grab our LED. The LED has two legs, a longer one and a shorter one. The longer one is positive and the shorter one is negative. I'm going to open up the legs of the LED so that we can touch them to the electrodes. The longer one goes to the copper, this is our positive, and the shorter one to our galvanized screw or nail, which is negative. We're going to try and find out why the LED didn't light up. This device is called a multimeter. We use it for measuring electricity. As you can see, the measurements read about 0.85. Now we're going to try with more. Let's get a second potato and put it together with the first potato. We'll grab our trusty multimeter again. We're going to pop it on to the ends of the potatoes. It's reading about 1.6, which is close to double. Alright, the moment of truth. I'm going to use this test light to test our potato and lemon battery. You can use lemons if you run out of potatoes. As you can see, the LED is lighting up. It's pretty faint, but we've successfully produced enough voltage to light an LED with potatoes and a lemon. Thank you.